My ideal of a good life is to be genuinely happy. It's to be content with who I am, with what I have, to be loved. Creating the spaces that I want to exist in. Um, and I suppose taking care of the people I love, it's cliche, but um, I think more so in, like an, in a financial sense. Um, my ideal of a good life is um, living by the ocean. I want to be in the ocean filming marine life, specifically marine mammals. Um, I want to be around organic energy. I, I would not kill myself. Reasoning is because, yeah, I'll be jealous of myself. I definitely clone myself um, just to get my clone to say the things I feel like saying to people that I always keep inside. Not everyone has the same head and heart as you do and you can't expect people to think the way that you do. And so if I could clone myself, I would know that I at least have one person who genuinely understands me. I'm really proud of myself for just getting up and living and not just surviving, but actually living and enjoying life for allowing myself to be me and not be controlled by people or like the world. Whenever I'm down, I'm just pushing and I'm doing what I'm meant to do. So I'd love to live and work in a big city. Uh, I think of myself as a big city gal. In either the UK or to the United States. I'm gonna say South Africa. I don't want to leave this country for now. I've always wanted to be in front of the camera to be quite honest but then obviously when I came here it was like a different chat but I've actually fallen in love with actually working with the camera. Journalism isn't print anymore, TV is where it's at. I've just gotten this huge appreciation for visual storytelling and I realised that I want to now make things that you know people further down the line they will like reference. I'll take people's ideas and then, yeah, claim that they're mine. <laughs> mm, by making false promises, yeah, just making a whole lot of false promises. Charm the king and then um, arsenic, yeah, take him out one shot, um, turn the whole society matriarchal. Through a corporate takeover filled with blood, murder and greed.